Well, the area around 71B, this was very, very interesting. Going into Springdale, got hit with a big time surprise snowfall event this morning. It backed up traffic and caused a little bit of an issue along 71B. But then just a few minutes up the road, there was no snow. Five News reporter Lauren Spencer is joining us now. And Lauren, the snow caught a lot of people off guard this <sighs> yeah, morning. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people didn't think they had to wear their snow boots or bring their gloves when they left their house this morning. And like I said, I'm no meteorologist, but I did my best to learn all about what could have caused this small snow band. I spoke to some people who were in Springdale on the roads when it all of a sudden turned into a surprise winter wonderland. Here's what they had to say. A little bit of a different day. I'm not quite what I expected when I woke up. It was a cold day, but not necessarily a snow day. Everyone thought that was for later in the week. I started seeing all the snow and I'm like, What's going on? Irvin Camacho was on his way back from the gym when he turned on to 71B and was hit with a blizzard and a traffic backup. But I started seeing like trucks uh, get stuck in the snow. Even though it wasn't like a lot, a lot of snow, I think it was really sticky. And Levi Hodge's commute to work was just fine, but around nine o'clock. Like our parking lot's covered at work and all of us are checking our phones because we don't see it at all on the radar. And just up the road, there was nothing. Let me reached out to my wife and I was like, hey, is it snowing over there? And she was like, no, it's not snowing. And I'm like, well, I'm actually stuck in like a winter storm over here. You have to have things just right to make that happen. And you just don't see this very often. It wasn't on the radar and wasn't predicted by any meteorologist because it was too small. We began seeing social media posts and so that clued us into something was going on. Steve Pilts, the meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service out of Tulsa, says they're not exactly sure how it happened. We added a little bit of extra heat, probably a little bit of extra moisture into the cold atmosphere, and it had to be balanced just right. Local terrain may have played an effect. Um, sometimes we see it come off of bodies of water, and sometimes we see it off like power plants. Tuesday's mini snowstorm being a true testament of you really can't control the weather. I've always told like, oh, we're in Arkansas, anything can happen. Um, and I guess that was definitely true today. And take a look at this. The Springdale Fire Department, Department posted this photo in, in the snow this morning of a car wedged underneath a semi, adding that the roads were dangerous. Lauren Spencer, 5 News.